Are you the Messiah? Are you the Messiah? No, I'm not. Bible characters and stories come to life in the streaming series The Chosen with Dallas Jenkins in the writer and director's chair. How do we arrive at the name The Chosen? Uh, three things, actually. We, you know, we, we look at and have used the term uh, for Christ as the chosen one. So it refers to uh, Christ in many ways. Um, the Jews are God's chosen people, even as an evangelical, I believe that. Um, and uh, the people that Christ chose to follow him and to be in his you know, team, as we like to say, uh, we're, it's, it's a little bit of a nod to that. He performs miracles and seeks no credit. Well, what does he look like? Is he a member of Sanhedrin? Would you at least know him if you saw him again? You might say telling Bible stories is in Dallas's blood. His father is co-author of the popular Left Behind book series. How would you say doing a series about the life of Christ is different than the films we've seen on the Bible, the resurrection of Christ? How, right. How's it different? Yeah, that's a great question. So when you do a movie about the life of Christ, you've got 90 to 120 minutes to try to cover quite a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes it goes from miracle to miracle, Bible story to Bible story. Jesus is typically the main character. And so you're just seeing things through his eyes and you're encountering these people for a very brief amount of time. In a show, a multi-season show, the kinds of shows that we binge watch usually together as families, we're able to really explore in depth these people. Put that down for a catch. A little farther out. Uh, I don't have a quarrel with you, teacher. But we've been doing this all night. Nothing. Seen here with Peter in The Miracle of the Fish, Jonathan Rumi is a familiar face in the leading role. Grab it! Grab it! What is it like to play the role of Jesus Christ? Um, it's life-changing in, in a couple of words. It's something that I've been doing now for about uh, six years. It's humbling, it's overwhelming, it's um, inspiring, it's... Uh, faith-inducing, faith-strengthening. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of indescribable. How is this particular series different for you? What's special about it? It's different in that we're getting to see sides of um, Jesus' ministry that's never been depicted on film before. On the day of our visit to the set of The Chosen, preparation is being made to shoot a pivotal scene just beyond that wall, the wedding at Cana, where Jesus performed his very first miracle. They have no idea who sits before them. <laughs> <laughs> to be a child again, yes? We're, we're exploring what it's like to be at a first century wedding, what it might have been like to have Jesus as a guest at a wedding. It's a very joyous occasion, uh, and again, one that I, I can scarcely recollect ever having seen put to, to film before. We're getting access to a humanity that people often, I think, forget. He felt the things that we feel. He experienced loss and sadness and frustration and happiness and joy and all those things, temptation, but without, you know, conceding to that. The role intimidating in any way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any, anybody that says otherwise, uh, either is not familiar with who Christ is or was and will be, um, or, uh, or they're, you know, they're, they're, they're letting their ego answer that question. How do you prepare? I pray a lot. Um, I read, um, I go to church, uh, mostly through prayer. I did not come to deliver the people from Rome. And from what? From sin. From spiritual death. God loves the world in this way. That he gave his only son. God began answering prayers for this series even before production began. Lock it up! Lock it up. The Chosen is the number one crowdfunded media project of all time with donations of more than $10 million. What's it like to take the pages of scripture and bring them to life? I can't imagine the feeling of reading the pages and then seeing yeah. what we get to see. Yeah, that's really cool how you just uh, phrased it, bringing them to life and then seeing them 
uh, that's how I feel, even though I'm the one who's doing it. I'm the director, and I'm the one who's literally writing the words and seeing them come to life, and I'm even dictating how they come to life. And yet I still feel like I'm following along, and I'm just listening. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus. He sent him to save it through him. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, Dallas, Texas. On the pole. Well, I'm going to be honest. I have not seen it yet, but I have talked to people who have, and they say that it's really remarkable. And so I'm, for one, looking forward to watching the whole thing. Have you yeah. seen it? I haven't seen it, I'll be honest, too, uh, but I've been encouraged to, to see it. Me too. A lot of it is, um, you know, for, for Superbook, we've done a lot of yes, these scenes in the life of Jesus. and. It would be great to see somebody else take a their their take they're, they're on it. Look at it yes. uh, and the thing that's coming through from people that have seen it and have encouraged me to watch it is it really shows the humanity of Jesus, yes. mm -hmm. and that uh, it takes him to a, a point where yes, he laughs with children. They they're sharing life together, yes. and you and it gives you that tangible sense uh, of just how approachable. He well, is and, and was, and even, how much he's a friend of sinners. Even Yes, even in the way he talked to Nicodemus is not that high up, I am right. up here. Yeah. <laughs> you are down there. Yeah. He yeah. came to serve. Yes, and exactly. It, yeah. it, that comes through in the series. And for people who have seen it, they said it's eye-opening. Well, we've got something for you, and it's a series on archaeology. And the first one we've got is called Written in Stone, and the first one is on the life of Jesus. In today's world, we need to recognize Jesus is not a myth. He is a man who actually lived, and archaeology proves it. And archaeology shows you where he was born, where he, was di where he died, where he was raised from the, from the, the grave, where he taught at Peter's house, uh, the synagogue in Capernaum. Uh, all of these things are written in stone. Are the miracles written in stone? No, but the life, the history, the record that Jesus existed is there written in stone in Israel. And you can see it on this wonderful DVD. For a gift of any dollar amount, uh, we'll send it to you. We'll also give you an um, uh, unlock for instant streaming address uh, access so you can have a, a code be sent to you right now that you can see written in stone our first episode. This will be a four-part series showing all the different archaeological discoveries in Israel that prove the Bible. The Bible is accurate history, and you can rely on it because archaeology supports it. If you like your copy, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.